Dr. Rakhi Mishra and I am the CEO of Dr. Rama Test Tube Baby Center. Today we have launched Dr. Rama's Test Tube Baby Center in a big way. Dr. P. Ramadevi is among the most popular infertility doctors known to about a million of people all over the world. She has traveled and attended over 100 scientific meetings, conferences, workshops across the world as a delegate, speaker, session chair, person. She has also published over several scientific papers in national and international journals. Why we have launched in Bangalore? Basically last year I came to Bangalore and I have seen, I met with the couples. They were either in the verge of suicidal or they were in the verge of depression mode. I just discussed with Dr. Rama why can't we open a center here in Bangalore. And she agreed and she told me that she wants to open, she wants to reach more and more people and serve this society more, whatever the strength she has. So this is the, this is the main aim we came and we have entered in this, uh, in Bangalore. Uh, and I assure you, we are going to give you the best services. If you see in Bangalore, I think lots of centers are there, uh, IVF centers are there. We don't have any competition with anybody. Because if we see that, uh, I don't want to take the name of the center also, they have given a small, small places for the IVF centers. But if you see that our entire building, our entire hospital is totally dedicated IVF services. Infertility problems and the doctors we have, they are renowned doctors and Dr. Rama also has her own name in this industry. She is a pioneer in this industry. Since 1991, she has opened her first center in Hyderabad. After that, she has opened in Muscat, Raichur, Vishakapatna, Guntur, Vijayawada, Rajamundri and now in Bangalore. We want to support you people parentless, sorry, childless parents, just don't think this is going to be the end. Come to us, do take the consultancy and move forward. We will provide you all the services under one roof. Uh, take the services from us and guide us also uh, where you are thinking that uh, this is something is missing. But with such great experience, we are coming, to, coming and entering in Bangalore. Definitely we are going to rock and uh, uh, we are going to give you the best services. The is in Krishna Temple Road, opposite to ICICI Bank, Indra Nagar. First phase, Bangalore. Our website, www.ivfcentersindia.com Our email ID, info at ivfcentersindia.com The contact number, 725902474. The toll free number, 022-6181-6191 I am very happy to start our 8th center in Bangalore Garden City. It is a great city, people are very friendly and so many multicultural people are living in Bangalore. It is a cosmopolitan city and young population is more here and a profession especially here is the software. So in the software, most of the time, both wife and husband are working and their working hours are entirely different. One is working in the night, one is working in the day. So because of that uh, change in the sleep pattern also, people are very much disturbed. With that will uh, influence their psychology, their hormonal status and the, their sexual behavior. Keeping all these things in view, the almost when compared to other normal population, this population is suffering with infertility 
another important population who are suffering with infertility is even in the villages because in villages there is no uh, hygiene and pollution especially pesticide use in the farms uh, have increased they they don't have toilets they don't have hygiene uh, proper uh, waste disposable uh, disposal is not there so keeping all these things in view and also they don't know how to clean uh, um, the pesticide uh, infested uh, uh, vegetables or fruits and even their cooking methods everything put together even villages also people think uh, the infertility is more in the rich people or educated people no it is there in every kind of a population every strata middle class lower class upper class so we have to find out uh, probably the reason uh, in lower class may be different in the middle class may be different in upper class may be different so keeping all these things in view as the infertility rate is increasing previously it used to be 10% now it has come to 15% every time there is a raise and also in uh, in uh, infertility treatment every day there is research is going on new new methods uh, scientists uh, want to imp uh, want to bring to improve the results but whatever we have done even today when uh, ivf results are still between 40 30 40 45% uh, so to improve these results we have to work a lot we have to thoroughly study about the case what are the reasons from male side or female side or physical or any social pressures or psychological stress or their food habits or lack of exercise many things play the reasons for the infertility so when whenever the patient <coughs> approaches we go into very much detail each case we take as an individual challenge we try our best for them to become successful and what even our a motto is not just ivf after con conception also till delivery we take care of them because many times after ivf some people face the abortion i have seen so many patients if they don't conceive they feel less uh, painful than when they already conceived and lost the baby so that is very very important following the pregnancy till delivery so we have a, a facility to even to uh, till delivery in uh, high risk pregnancies also we can take care of uh, all the children born in our hospital are very very uh, healthy intelligent and uh, they are uh, they are multitasking they they go for multiple um, extra curricular activities and they are very affectionate towards the parents all these things depend upon only on the best in antenatal care and the mode of the delivery safe delivery without any stress on the baby's brain usually if the uh, uh, if the labor pains if they are prolonged and there is there will be an anoxia that anoxia will cause permanent damage to the brain people will not know immediately after the delivery but after one year after two years the baby's intelligence or physical or mental milestones will be affected because of this keeping in view i always prefer to have a patient starting from consultation till delivery giving a healthy baby and uncomplicated antenatal period and as well as the delivery time this is uh, even here we are providing all these uh, facilities and uh, uh, i always insist upon our staff to be very polite to the patients and uh, sympathize with the patients understand with the patient and i will make all my staff available whenever the patient calls uh, uh, any doubt they have in uh, any 24 by 7 I, our people will be approachable we have uh, dr rama ivf uh, centers.com one site we have in hyderabad we have on a different name that that is uh, fertilityindia.com so in fertilityindia.com we have 100 280 pages we have given each and every subject in detail so that patient will understand what is their problem any queries so immediately we can even answer uh, and many patients even abroad uh, from the usa algeria nigeria uh, uk australia we keep getting uh, mails from them we patiently answer them and uh, many people come to hyderabad uh, for uh, infertility treatment and many people um, availed these services in uh, hyderabad uh, from different countries we have a modular lab modular lab uh, previously uh, the every lab used to have uh, sometimes uh, in some labs 
act, they, they don't even have uh, uh, air purification systems, water purification systems. But here we have we made a modular lab in par with any other lab in any part of the world and everything all the latest technology whatever uh, in IVF uh, advanced technologies there we have now including laser uh, including uh, everything a week or one month that uh, we are going to get MC in MC what the, the every normally ICSI many people know what is ICSI ICSI means when count of the male seven count is less yeah, they, they cannot fertilize on their own. So we have to hold the egg viewing in the microscope, we have to inject the sperm. But sperm in naturally in every human being, if it is a normal semen analysis, in every one semen, one ml of semen, there will be about 50-60 million of sperms. Why nature needs one, uh, so many millions of sperms to fertilize one egg? That, that means so many sperms are not fit for fertilizing egg. That's why nature is producing so many millions of sperms. So when we are doing ICSI, if you can't uh, um, uh, uh, find out the normal there, the chromosomally or pharmacologically or uh, appearing normal sperm, then the embryo quality will not be good. In MC, you can identify the sperm size, shape, midpiece. Uh, in uh, um, a higher magnification, you can visualize and you can select the best sperm so that the results uh, will be better. And we also have the laser assisted hatching. In uh, most of the time, when uh, yeah, like in uh, like in uh, we, we everybody knows how to you know, uh, uh, how to um, uh, produce uh, chicks. Sometimes uh, when you put twenty eggs, some people some eggs will not break. The, the, because the shell may be thick, that's why it won't uh, break. Even in human embryo, the shell may not break. I mean, because of that, there will be implantation failure. To assist this uh, implantation failure, laser-assisted hatching is useful. Usually, this problem comes in PCO patients, older age group patients, or genetically, some patients have thick uh, zona pellucida, or previously repeated IVF failures. These uh, patients are uh, special cases for uh, using this uh, um, uh, laser-assisted hatching. Usually uh, for any uh, anything, even normal life, when we want to buy one uh, a cell phone or TV or anything, we will inquire, we will go for the references, we will go for their rating, like that uh, but we have to, before going to any, uh, any treatment, you, a patient should do enough research. Depending upon the, the, the background, depending upon uh, their past uh, um, history, a patient should select a particular doctor and after selecting every day they should not change a doctor because once a person comes if any treatment is given by a doctor they if there is a some delay or failure patient should ask a question why there is a problem because this is a time taking process every patient will not get a result very soon so such patients usually if they are unhappy they will be trying to change what happens already what treatment is given in the previous hospital they will not be knowing in the other new consultation so they every place that you they need to repeat all the investigations all the treatment again if they change like that we keep seeing especially in infertility too many doctors they consult every place they will be using too many medicines every medicine will have its own positive and negative effect any even uh, even whatever in i don't know in once they do and they are happy with that particular doctor or particular hospital they should stick to that doctor so that they, they, they the doctor treatment will, uh, be treatment will be complete otherwise everywhere it becomes incomplete and then the time and money uh, will be wasted and the patient will have a lot of tension and the loose belief uh, uh, in the treatment treated. yeah that that is a very very um, uh, uh, it's not useful for the patient okay. because we have bangalore is a big city and uh, i am uh, finding every day uh, the traffic jams and uh, traveling even 10 15 kilometers in uh, bangalore people are getting scared because 10 15 kilometers traveling also is going to take uh, two hours or something like uh, so in future uh, we may come up with uh, all corners of uh, bangalore uh, branches